Welcome to my channel, I'm PBW, and today we're going to see how stable a jumbo is. In this case, it's a Tracker 1236. Model number 1236 stands for 12 foot length and the bottom width is 36 inches. Stay tuned as I continue to show why a jumbo is always better than a kayak. Okay, as the video shows there, the boat's really stable. The only thing is you have to watch where you step. You can step out of the boat sometimes, not paying attention as you saw there in one part of the clip. Now the uh, port side of the boat seems a little more unstable and that's because the weight isn't balanced correctly. I have the battery at the port stern of the boat. So in this next clip, I'm gonna add a battery at the starboard side stern of the boat and we'll see how it looks. Just gonna move the, put a battery on this side and see how it levels it out. All right. Okay, so I got both my batteries, one on each side. So hopefully this will level it out and make this a little evener test. I'll start up on the front. I think the front is the, it seems to work out fairly well here. It's not leaning any side now. And down here is just really stable. I mean, you have to really try to rock this boat. I mean, I think you could say put pretty good in this. In the back, I mean, it does. I can pull in some water that way, but. I mean, as you see, it's really stable. Okay, so that was with two batteries uh, equally displaced in the rear of the boat. Uh, seemed to make it a little better left to right. The right side of the boat was more balanced now. Uh, before, the right side of the boat wasn't balanced because I had one battery on the right side and there was no battery on the left. So I'm gonna add a third battery up front and see how it does. Adding a third battery, this one's right at about 70 pounds.
All right, we have the third battery right here centered in the boat. Two back here, so we have a total of about 100 and I think each of these batteries are about 60 to 70 pounds a piece. All right, let's see how stable it is now. I'm gonna go to the right side of the front. I mean, that seemed to help a lot for the front, adding the battery there in the middle. And down here is just rock solid. Whoops, how about fell? see here. I mean it's not close to the water at all in the middle. Let's go stand back here. Pull this back in camera view. Over here on the right side. It's really close to splashing in some water when you do crazy jumps on one side. Pretty successful. I mean, it shows. I think this is better than a kayak. It's 12 foot kayak, most definitely. As I said, don't let your friends buy a kayak. Buy a John boat. You can't jump around like that in a kayak. I think this video shows just how stable a John boat can be and how weight affects the stability. Weight by itself doesn't make a boat more stable. The width of the boat does. It's a misconcept that weight makes stability. And why that is, is due to the bottom of the boat being the narrowest part. And as you get to the top of the rails or the beam of the boat, it's much wider. So the added weight puts more of the boat into the water, making it have the effect of a wider stance in the water. So in the case of my Tracker 1236, the bottom of the boat is 36 inches or three feet wide, but the beam is four feet, four inches. So as I added weight, more of the boat was getting put into water, making it more stable. So please comment below if you have any questions or hit the like or dislike if you didn't like the video. And thanks for watching. And remember to eat, drink, and be merry. See ya.